The title of this project is Offering Sound Advice, Exploring the Provision and Delivery of Audio Feedback to Students. It was carried out by myself, Stephen McLean, Alison Gallagher, Kay Hack and Paul Hagen, all from within the School of Biomedical Sciences at the University of Ulster. A working definition of audio feedback is essentially verbal feedback, which is offered by teaching staff on student work. That verbal feedback is recorded and then delivered electronically to students, normally using MP3 audio files. However, there are a range of ways in which that audio may be captured, and that was explored as part of the project. For example, we investigated the use of microphones, either freestanding microphones or connected to a headset, MP3 voice recorders, but there's also the possibility of using mobile phones which have voice recorders as part of their technology. Also, it's possible to use recording software for your computer, such as Audacity. This is free software which may be downloaded from the internet. This allows you to not only record the audio, but also edit it before it is exported as an MP3 audio file. Once the audio has been recorded, there then is the matter of delivering it to students. This may be done via email, uh, which is relatively straightforward if you're recording generic feedback to a large group. However, if you're recording individualized files, this would need to be delivered using mail merge technology. Other ways are to set up a podcast or to use the voice tools in Blackboard Learn, as shown here uh, in these various screencasts. This is a relatively straightforward and very easy way to get set up using audio feedback. A little voice recorder appears which allows you to simply record the audio and then this is sent by email to the student that you have selected or groups of students. Podcasting is a means by which audio files may be stored on the internet and then delivered via an RSS feed uh, via the likes of iTunes to a student's computer and then ultimately to uh, the likes of an iPod or other MP3 audio device. So that is another means of delivering audio files. So what did we do? We delivered generic feedback to year one students, 143 in all, and this feedback was primarily on laboratory practical classes. Brief uh, verbal feedback given on how students have done in practicals were sent by email. And for two of the practicals, uh, we then incorporated these into a podcast and sent those to the students. What did the students think? 86% of students said they listened to the mp3 files sent by email but only 50% listened to the podcast files and only two students actually subscribed to the podcast using iTunes. Some said they didn't know how to do this and they didn't have for example iTunes or a compatible device. However in terms of what they thought of the modes of feedback, the students in year one preferred written feedback compared with verbal in class coming next and the audio feedback in third place and they offered a number of reasons. Uh, for example, they found that written feedback was easier to refer back to uh, and so on. However, for those who did listen to the audio feedback, uh, generally these students rated the audio feedback very useful, uh, scoring it between 6 and 10 out of 10 in most cases. So therefore there was some positive aspects from this as well. However, within the school we also looked at other uh, groups as well. Some of the comments that came back from first years were, I personally didn't find this useful, I would prefer written feedback. However, some did say that they found it helpful and that perhaps it can be used for a recap or revision or reference at a later date. Whenever we look at other year groups uh, within the School of Biomedical Science, for example, final year students uh, who were offered uh, audio feedback on poster presentations here, uh, in this case, a voice recorder was used to record feedback for individual students and then these were sent out by email. This was divorced from the marks which were released about 48 hours later. Student comments here uh, came back such as audio feedback was more personal. You could hear the tone uh, of voice and it was a much nicer way to get feedback. And students thanked uh, the module coordinator for doing this and realized that there was a time element involved. And obviously uh, recording and sending out individual uh, emails is time consuming indeed. In another master's module, in this case BMS 804 Ethics and uh, Research Governance, students again were given audio feedback and this time it was generated using a headset, a microphone 
and the Camtasia uh, software. So what did students uh, think in this case? This time the uh, member of staff measured the feedback against the Ulster principles of assessment and feedback and in most cases students found the feedback was either helpful or very helpful when measured against these uh, various indicators. The one I suppose that didn't really work out was encouraged interaction and dialogue with tutor and classmates. Again, another master's module, PHA 717, again an MP3 voice recorder uh, was used in this case. Students felt the feedback was much more personal, uh, more so than just reviewing written comments on their original submission. And again, they highlighted the, the more personal aspect um, of the feedback. In terms of staff uh, perspectives on audio feedback, um, again some quotes Time spent offering audio feedback was equal to or slightly exceeded more conventional written feedback, although the positive student comments on the quality and impact reinforces the value of the technology. And again, audio feedback allows to provide detailed uh, feedback in a fairly short period of time. For large groups of students, only generic feedback is really possible. And MP3 might be better received if it was the sole means of providing feedback and not just as a complementary means. Again, final comment here, uh, feedback can be generated within about two hours, but sending it out uh, can be time consuming. So again, individualized formative feedback by this mode can be very effective. It can be extended to offer whole group feedback. And even within our school, other members of staff have now expressed interest um, in using this technology, generally through BB Learn uh, voice tools.